What's going on, nerds? Welcome back to Comic Book Nerd Nation, episode 145. I'm Fox 2. We got the whole damn crew. Pirate. Howdy, y'all. Topher. Brian's got little black backpacks stuck in my head now. And the whole effing Brian. I once made a whole bar sing the Aerosmith song from Armageddon. That's fantastic. Oh. I bet that was we, hilarious. Yeah. Did that. We did that at, uh, at a sushi restaurant like a few months ago. Oh man, with were, were the workers singing in the accents? Uh, That's racist, and probably this probably. I didn't attempt to sing it in an accent. No, but that would be funny. Um. So before we before we get into all the nerdy stuff, actually, I haven't even told you guys about this. Um, but I want to just touch base on something kind of news. Pirate, did you just shit your pants? <laughs> Maybe. I'm pretty sure he just shit his pants. Oh. That was the most disgusting thing I've heard. The, the mic in picks a it long, up so clearly. Long time. <laughs> it's also the chair you're sitting on. Oh, yeah. that's so gross. Oh that's god, it smells awful. so bad. I believe that. Um. Anyway. So this is some news that kind of, it has to do with the podcast. It, it's re, it revolves around YouTube because of the fact that we've been doing the podcast for so long on YouTube. I figured it might be, um, might be good to just mention this anyway. So YouTube has yet again changed their rules, policies, and how they are um, enforcing no things. No your pants on podcasts. Well... I mean, that probably would actually fall under, yeah, that would probably fall under this, I imagine. Um, so they're really cracking down lately, and this just started maybe in the last, like, three or four days. Um, they've been warning people, demonetizing videos, and flagging channels for content that they deem not advertiser-friendly. Um... This can be anything from political statements to statements about tragedies or wars to um, vulgarity, uh, any kind of violence, any kind of anything that they perceive essentially as not advertiser friendly. Um, there is a lot. I mean, you can search other other YouTubers videos. Philip DeFranco has a, a video about it. He's a huge YouTuber um, that does a lot of news and stuff. Uh, it's essentially YouTube's, they're censoring people. They're censoring effectively what people can or cannot say on their platform and still be able to make monetized. Uh, well, I, really, I wouldn't say that's censoring because they're still able to say it. They're just not oh, making for, money off of it. Well, I mean, how long is something going to be able they're to be Discriminating sustained? more than censoring. Yeah, yeah. but realistically, so, like, so the people that have these big channels that, it, that it's really affecting... This is their life. You know, they spend all day making, editing, and, and, and uploading videos to the point where it's not just one person. They have an entire cast and crew of, of people to edit, to film, to, you know, some of these big channels that, that, you know, they might have, for every video you watch, you see one person on camera, you might have five people in the background working on all of this stuff. Right, and I agree. I, I don't. I don't. And, I'm not taking away from that, but I'm just saying, like, if you worked for CNN and that was your living as a news correspondent, and you would have to go to their platform and, and adhere to what they want you to say, you know, you can't. I mean, YouTube is its is its own business of itself, and they can do. But what is they that want. not right? But is that not censorship? I mean, no, kind of. It's not censorship. It's it's a job. If if you if this is your job, you have to like fall into what you know, your employer needs you to do. Well, but what they're, what they're saying is, like, you can't, you flat out can't, if there's a, say there's a tragedy, some of the videos, for example, some of the videos that have been flagged as problematic are literally videos about a tragedy that happened, and in the video, the person is trying to raise awareness and raise money for a charity to help with the tragedy. How is, I mean, how not... is that not... Like, you're doing it. You're doing it through someone else's. That's the problem with America today. I mean, like any anybody who owns something can do with can basically media. 
media media format in of itself is kind of like shrunk down. So you have the Fox News that only talks about certain things and they'll only allow certain things to be shown versus MSNBC, which has certain things that only allows certain things to be shown. You know what I mean? And it's YouTube is just now falling into that because a lot of people, believe it or not, get, you know, their news from people that are legit, you know, or that are actually telling what they, <clears throat> you know, their side of things versus the Fox News side or the MSNB News side. So, I mean, it, YouTube has just now became another one of those ones where they can manipulate, which they're not really manipulating it because the, the well, content's still there. They're just not getting money for it. YouTube is to discourage it. I don't <clears throat> know. YouTube isn't the government. Like, censorship doesn't really come into play here. Um, you know, it, it, it's it's basically a private company, and you're saying whether or not they have the right to well, decide. Well, I'm, no, I'm not saying whether or not they have the right to do anything. I'm just saying I think it's ridiculous that they're essentially, they're taking a, a platform that has been based around everyone's creative freedoms, and it's because of everyone's creative freedoms, it's been built to what it is today, and now... They're essentially saying, well, you can still technically do whatever you want, but uh, we're not going to allow you to be paid for anything that we think is not advertiser-friendly, whether your advertisers like it or not. If we don't agree with it, then you are no longer allowed to make money on it. So now it's basically to the point where anybody that has any kind of controversial issues that they talk about, any kind of uh, humor could could fall into this big time. Uh, they don't like your style of comedy. You can no longer get paid for it. Well, if somebody's doing this on YouTube on a large scale and this is their living, how long is that really going to stick around? They're not well, going to do it anymore. So effectively... If, effectively they're censoring people i mean if my thing is if you have a crew and you you have a youtube channel and you have an entire crew and you know an organization based on your youtube channel you're going about shit the wrong way to begin with you should have your own like website and your own like revenue system set up to where you don't need youtube you know that's my opinion because to me that's just if you're putting that yeah, much money into it why not... are you relying on another for, why are you relying on part of your revenue being taken from another company just to get it out there? If you already got that big of fans, you can because, move them somewhere because else. Because it's, it's not the fans that pay the bills. It's the, it's the advertisers. Right, well, and you can get YouTube's, advertisers on your own website. Yeah, but the advertisers YouTube. are going to be a lot more willing to put money on, onto an advertisement on a website that has hundreds of millions of views a day. Obviously, they're not if they're talking about censor or no, not it's censor. Not, they're talking no, that's about what I'm saying, though. It's not the advertisers. This isn't the advertisers that are doing this. It's YouTube. Well, I guarantee you, YouTube had a conversation with a lot of like advertisement companies, and that's where this came from. I doubt it. It, it didn't come from YouTube just sitting around saying, yeah, I, think I don't think this is a problem. No, somebody brought it to their attention saying, I think this is a problem. No, I would believe it's YouTube themselves because 100%. the advertisers don't give a shit. They just give a shit that their product's being put out there on the market and people are seeing like, oh, buy this gold bond for your nuts. Buy it. They don't care what you're saying. They just care about what, how many people they can get to advertise their shit. Exactly. It's they're usually all, they're all about numbers. Goes, uh, I mean... I, you, you can't fault YouTube a company is still, for wanting to do what they want to do. Yeah, YouTube is still a business. It's a company. People who upload videos to their site are not under contract as employees. There's yeah, no are. expectation of fair wages. Uh, like They are under contract. Well, even if they're under contract, and that's all the more reasons why, 100%, you know. 100% that, that people are under contract from, from I, I, either, either YouTube or... Or YouTube and an affiliate uh, advertising cool. agency. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. re regardless, Google? it's still it's still Google a business Google. that's deciding, you know, what is profitable for the company, and if they decide that it's not profitable for them to, you know, to continue to send well, payments to people whose videos have content that they are not sure whether they can monetize. Then if that's but where if that's does that a, stop? That's what I'm saying. It's exactly the same as all of the all of the big fuss over Facebook's trending topics being manipulated by Facebook. 
It's the same exact thing. So are you pushing advocating... to the forefront things that align with your political agenda, with your thoughts on conflict, with your feelings about tragedies, with which is what every whatever. every big outlet does. They're no a matter... private. They're a private entity that is allowed to do that. Just like the government. Like, are you advocating that the I'm government? Not saying that the, I'm not saying that they're not allowed they... to do it. I'm just saying that I don't think morally it's a very good. I, I think, think it's a good thing. I think it I hurts freedom of speech. I think it hurts a, a I, huge outlet of information for the for the world. I think I think it's just a bad move in general. I'm not saying it's illegal. I'm not saying that they could be punished for this. I just think it's I think it's immoral. I think it's a bad move. I think it's I don't I don't like it. I'm gonna agree with you there. Do I I don't think it takes away first the you know, your first amendment because freedom of speech, you're still able to get that information out there. It's just harder for people to see and find. Right. Like I said, it's not I don't, it's not illegal, it's not unconstitutional, it's not any of that. I, I agree that I don't like it, but if it's if it's hurting YouTube's bottom line as a company, should they be made to do something that's damaging to their company? Absolutely not. I mean, I guess I agree on that but I don't know that it's really... There's been no anything... There's been no uh, like show of information or anything communicated to anyone under contract with YouTube uh, that's affected directly by this, that their livelihood can be affected directly by this, that, that that was an issue. It's something that literally just, at the drop of a hat, they just all of a sudden started demonetizing money and warning, or demonetizing videos... And, I mean, this may not, you know, on a channel the size of the one that, that I have that we post this on, it doesn't make a lot of difference. It really doesn't. I work a full-time job. You guys all work full-time jobs. That's irrelevant. But for a big YouTuber that, you, you know, demonetizing one video when it comes out could be the difference of $10,000. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a small... I mean, do we have any examples of like which video was demonetized? Oh, there's a ton. Just I mean, I, I mean I, off the top of my head, no, and I can't pull it up on on YouTube right now because it'll the audio oh, yeah. from that video will over supersede our audio and we'll get flagged for all of that as well. It's but uh, if you go to Philip DeFranco Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, which is a really popular um, uh, kind of nerd news. Um, unboxing. Is that guy. Yeah, he's the guy that does oh, the character yeah. Francis. Um, Francis videos are getting starting to get pulled down because of this. That's a perfect example uh, because he yells, he screams. Sometimes his wife plays Francis's sister or something like that, and they throw things at one another. So that was perceived as violence. That uh, is some fucked up role play right there. But <laughs> I just don't see how this betters anything. I hey, don't baby, pretend think to be that, my sister. I really don't think that that advertisers are going to just bandwagon leave YouTube. Well, I don't think they're going to the spend less money because of the sheer volume of people that they're going to be able to reach. You could probably, I don't know the statistics on this, but I would guess that you could probably reach a more captive, higher quantity of people through YouTube than you can by advertising on most television commercials. I think my favorite part of this show is when Fox starts a line with, I don't have any statistics, but, and then throws out some wild claim about numbers. That's always probably my favorite thing that happens. I mean, you have asshole fucking opinions about things too. So it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have opinions. I don't make up fake numbers to, that's, I, did, that's I, did I say, I didn't say any fake numbers. fucking <clears throat> numbers. I know. I'm just, just being a jerk. Just off. Shit. Look at all this violence. Oh We're my get god! Down. Stop Reg eating your microphone. Regardless, all I was trying to say is that there's a good possibility that this could trickle down and affect the podcast. Well, uh, it could affect my channel. It could affect a lot of things because a lot of the things that we talk about on this podcast. Oh shit! We are, might not make money from this show anymore. Are oh, fuck. Talked uh, are on the list of things that are not going to be acceptable under this new set here's of rules. The, here's John, the thing, here's John the thing violently about... shitting his pants isn't going to be acceptable. 
<laughs> here, here, here's the beauty of free market. If if this has a source that we can't do anything with, and people are pissed about it, they're going to move somewhere else, and there's going to somebody's going to create that void and fill it with with another way to get that information out there. I mean, it's I, possible. I mean, YouTube's I mean, going to be MySpace in a few years. <laughs> I mean, Donnie Page. Okay. Donnie. Well, all right. I feel like I've said enough and. It's pretty evident that most of you do not agree with me, but that's okay. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think you're wrong that like uh, it, I don't like it either. Like it would be nice if YouTube didn't make it more difficult for people to post their opinions and and you know made them feel like they had to walk a, a fine line with what their content is to make sure that you know it, it doesn't hurt their livelihoods, but. At the same time, you know, YouTube is a private company and they are allowed to do what they want. And if they've decided that, you know, that that hurts their bottom line to to do that, then it's in their right to do it. And to suggest that it's not, you know, is, is I never, again, you know, a, a, a political in statement I in never, itself. I, again, I, I didn't say you suggested. Mouth, I never suggested I, that it was not in I their right to do it. never said you did. It. No, I, I didn't say you did. I said to right. suggest so would be blah, blah, blah. I did not say that you did that. All right. Fair enough. In 2016. I, I, I think we're all in agreement with it. I just, I, I think, I mean, I don't think anybody's disagreeing with anybody. I think we all just have a different degree of how we feel about it, how passionate we are about that. You know how I feel about it? 2016, I will make YouTube great again. Uh, <laughs> vote the whole left and Brian. <laughs> Make YouTube great again. Uh, well, we better stay away from the political stuff now. Uh oh, well. actually, I don't give a fuck. Um, we're going to continue <laughs> to do exactly what we do: talk how we want to talk about what we want to talk about. And if they flag the videos or they pull my channel down, fuck them. Um, that was the point of the whole thing. Uh, I I will not allow them to sway my decision to, to talk about whatever I want to talk about on my That's channel. Right. Fuck them. Fuck YouTube. Fuck yeah, pretty you much. YouTube. That's pretty much where I'm at with it. Come at me, bro. And violently. Uh, <laughs> uh, so there's not a ton of news, but before we get into it, Brian had a special request. He wants to do a tabletop game of the week. Brian. So this is a game I found that fits me perfectly. And the name of the game, John, can I get a drum roll? Poop. Fuck you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Best guess ever. Best <laughs> guess ever. It, it's game poop. Is actually called game poop. Is called... Oh my god! So, tell me you tell I saw... me that you own this company. Tell me you own this company. I, I wish you know. All... It's the one word that comes out of my mouth the most. <laughs> I don't even think I say the more than I say poop. But basically, I was surfing Amazon, just looking at games, different games I could buy for me and my friends to play. Searching it through Googling yeah. poop. I was just poop Googling poop the other day. Across the internet How the fuck just do you just what I randomly find. come across a card game named Poop in I don't your know. everyday Amazon searches? It's How does he that happen? That he types that so much. It's like in his advertisements and suggested things, like all his ads and stuff on when he goes to websites. They just know him well. Oh, it's just, just them five. I haven't played it yet, but I have the instructions down. So basically, it's kind of like Uno, and they have directions to make it into a drinking game. But first, you draw a card. You can only take the number of shits that it says on top of the toilet bowl. Is that blood <laughs> on, the, on no. the toilet? No, <laughs> it's color. <laughs> it's different colors like you, like Uno. Okay, okay. Is that blood? <laughs> so you and your friends draw cards. And you lay them down, kind of like Uno, to kind of like you can't fill up the toilet with the number of cards. Like you can't take over eight shits. So you constantly play filling up the toilet bowl, and there's certain cards to um, to uh, to. Is there a janitor? Card? Eliminate to flush. To flush, no. Oh. To to flush basically, but each card says a different thing. Like if you draw. This card, you have to make a fart sound when you place it down, or hold your nose. And 
I don't know how I came across this game, how it popped up, but like even look at the pictures. Like there's Steaming Turd, one of them. <laughs> um, oh my uh, where's gosh. this like toilet paper on another one? This looks hilarious. Then like skip cards say wipe just a fart. Oh. Just a fart. Like one of these one of these cards say, you know, make a flush sound on your turn. Wow. Wash your hands on turn. And it's just, I don't know, there's two other, like, expansions for it. But, unfortunately, I didn't see at the time that you could buy it. It comes inside a little brown bag oh. with another expansion. I didn't buy that version, but it reminds me of Billy Madison. Oh, God. Then th this is the only game I've ever seen that actually also comes with, like, drinking rules. To make it into a drinking game, I think you need like if you to... clogged it, because who doesn't want to drink poop? You need to get a GoPro or borrow a GoPro from someone out and, there and play this and film it, and I will do like a quick time lapse video of you guys playing this, like in the upper corner of the video for one of the podcasts. Uh, that would be brown gold. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a bloody bowl or a bloody bowl because that did look like blood and then the next one he was like no no it's just other colors the next one's yellow like it's overflown with a gang of piss piss <laughs> wow all right so there you have it so yeah poop get it on amazon to... how much is it i'm not gonna search it. i'm not gonna search poop on it was amazon. probably like 10 bucks or something okay. like that it was i'll search poop i don't give a fuck does it come in a box it do you, comes in. Do you buy a box of poop, or do you buy a like a it's bag? A bag of it's a this bag is, of poop. No, you can buy the bag of poop that comes with. I forgot what it comes with. What's the expansion's called? It's like poop something. <laughs> Diarrhea. Uh, they, I found a sack of shit on Amazon. <laughs> oh my god. There's some fucked up shit yeah. on the internet. That's there's not a lot. poop poopery. Before you go toilet, spray two ounce bottle. Yeah, that was uh, they had commercials on TV for that. Oh, you know what? I think my <laughs> friend that lady, well, that lady that would drop the hot mm. deuces, and she'd be like, "I don't want the people next to me to smell it." What the you uh, telling you? The uh, expansions are called Poop Party Pooper Edition, and then Poop <laughs> Public Restroom Edition. Warning: yes. This package contains poop. Oh it man! It comes in a brown bag. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There goes that YouTube money. Yep. That's all right. <laughs> hey, we're talking about a game. Maybe that game wants to... Uh, oh, yeah, maybe, they want, maybe they want to sponsor... Yeah, let's send nation. them an email because I talk about poop all the time. I want to get one of these fake turds that you can like leave on people's toilets. you never seen one before? No. Are That's you serious? Map. I've never looked up poop on Amazon. I'm sorry. <laughs> never seen, like... The fake plastic turds that you could leave places. I mean, I've seen it now. Oh, they, they have, have those things at Spencer's <clears throat> Gifts. At the I don't mall. go to Spencer's like, Gifts. Tell me, you've John, never like, been. You've never been in bar, Spencer's Gifts. Ever. I've club. been in never. Spencer's <laughs> Gifts, but it's been like <laughs> ten no, years. Well, ten years ago, they still had plastic turds. <laughs> a two pack of damn, that looks real as fuck. <laughs> a two pack of poop. <laughs> this this <laughs> show has now devolved to pirates oh, sitting. Oh, they have a, they have another plastic. Uh, they have we should have a segment for poop. It's the pooper plastic, pooper. where we show John pictures of of poop, and he has to determine whether it's whether a real it's, steaming turd real. or it's a fake plastic gag one. You want to get people really good? Take a Snickers bar, chew it up, and let it melt a little bit, and throw it in somebody's pool. Now this is just confusing. An Emojicon vanilla scented sprinkled poop pillow. <laughs> what? <laughs> why would you ever want that? I why know. would you want that? And That's why would so... you ever put fucking sprinkles on a goddamn poop? <laughs> I guess it's like the old saying, you know, it's just sprinkles on shit. Well, this is literally sprinkles on shit that smells like vanilla. I've never heard it's like sprinkles on shit before. That is. You never like, heard of that no, saying? I have never. Where people say like You've you take never something seen a plastic and you turd, add, and I've never seen heard sprinkles on shit. I've heard polish a turd. Is I've heard like... polish. It's kind of it's kind of like, like polish a turd. Polishing a turd. Yep. Yeah. It's like putting a paint job on an old a new paint job on a beat up car. But like it's just sprinkles on a turd. Like you never heard that. No. <laughs> wow. I've heard it's like two monkeys fucking a football. 
Yeah, that one. <laughs> All right. Well, we've covered some interesting. Oh, oh the, the side of the box said it's a kid's game. It's a drinking game, just not a kid's drinking game. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some unicorn poop soap. All right, all right. Smell like a fecal <laughs> rainbow. Smell like a fecal, <laughs> fecal rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. That's what the, that's what it says. All right. Skyrocket prank poo dough. Hey, yeah. for the um, for the tagline for the video, you should be like episode one forty five. The shit hits the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Poop tarts trading card twenty fourteen oh, tops Wesley Packard right. series. The next bit of news. Uh, in the most recent Le Legends of Tomorrow teaser, we got to see Stargirl with her cosmic staff. I've got a cosmic staff. Uh, I was waiting for it. Uh, anybody excited about this at all? Uh, I mean, Not really. It's, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're further bringing the Justice Society of America into this, and it could be neat, but... I, I don't know. It's just Cos no or Star Star Girl is a pretty B level character, so I don't know. Cos yeah, like who? Yeah, yeah. It's I had to Google it to find out who she was. To be honest, she's related to Starman, and that's a fact. Okay. Let me let me pull out my cosmic staff. She was Ooh. created by Jeff Johns in 1999. 99. 99. But well, a star girl ain't one. one. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> Gotham is gone on. They've they've gone on the record and said that you will not be seeing Batman anytime soon because quote Ten. superheroes don't really do well on TV. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with them? Yeah. Superheroes don't really do well on TV. Apparently, they're only, they're only isolated to paper. Have they not watched Arrow or Flash? I mean, they have. They just they're just jealous. They haven't got that money from I, it. I just don't understand. I don't. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me. How I don't. How can you even in this day and age? How can you even say that with a straight face? Well, maybe they're maybe they're saying it's not superhero shows; it's like the super villains and the supporting cast that tend to no, to make it work. No, the well, quote it is, was it superheroes is don't really work well on TV. Right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they're implying that it's not the super it's like superheroes don't make it work. The villains and the supporting cast is what works, and so that's what they're using and choosing to leave out the superhero part because they don't feel it adds anything. Maybe so. While we're on the topic of... Or maybe they're just fucking crazy, I don't know. And they're... While, while we're on the topic of uh, Gotham, has anybody seen the picture of Killer Croc? No. For this season? No, I, I've seen I'm Hush. Gonna, I'm going to send it to... I just sent it to the chat right now. Okay. The picture of him. And look how terrible it is. Is it really bad? Just look at it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That's that's Killer Croc? That's, they gave him yep. a fucking mohawk? Okay, into... so anybody that had a problem with Suicide Squad's Killer Croc needs to apologize. Because this is atrocious. Yeah. Are you allowed to show pictures on, on here? Uh, I figured out a way that we're allowed like figured out a way to actually show pictures better. Uh, you can, can you share it with the chat? Huh? Or can you? Sure, what the chat? Can you? No, I meant the picture that Brian sent to chat. Yeah, put it. Okay, up. everybody, everybody, go look at everybody listening or watching. No, go he's look just at. Put it up. Oh, okay. All rights are reserved I mean, for Warner Brothers. I'm going to show your first comments. and last name. I hope you're all right with that. Well, anyway, just keep talking, and I'll figure out how to get it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But anyway, this thing looks like it looks like Shaquille O'Neal has like. Doritos stuck to the top of his head that are painted brown. <laughs> it's awful. It's, it's it beyond bad. awful. It's really, really it looks bad. Terrible. It doesn't. It doesn't even. There's nothing about that picture that that looks like crocodile. There's, you know, like it doesn't. 
In fact, it's so like mellow. I don't even think that I would freak out in public if I saw someone that looked like that. With all the body modifications like, and stuff that people have now. I just, I just like, bro, you got something on your head. Yeah, dude, what is that shit on you got your head? A little, you got a little something. You got a little, a little, little something there, on top of your head there. Okay, so here's the picture. Uh, Topher is sharing it. Um, as you can see, this is the worst rendition of Killer Croc probably ever. And he looks constipated. He doesn't even look mad. He looks like he's got a fucking turd stuck sideways or something. So, all right, Bro, Topher, you can go and pull it down. Um, that is a nice feature that Topher just figured out. Hopefully he can figure out how to reverse the process and get back. There we go. How'd you do that? Uh, we'll discuss that after the... We'll, uh, we'll we'll figure that out as a group. So Actually, don't teach me. I'm probably yeah, going to put up stuff. That's probably a good thing. Let's keep that to we'll trust We'll trust Topher and only Topher with that. You'll power. abuse that privilege. Um, <laughs> I'll figure it out sometime. Black Lightning TV show is in development. Uh, he's a DC character, apparently. I uh, I don't I don't know. You, any thoughts here? This is it's another slow week. In case anybody can't tell, there's just nothing. We're in the lull of news before New York Comic Con. There there is a DC character called Surge or something like that. Like the drink, like the soda. Uh, no, who yes, the fuck he, am I thinking? He of? shoots Surge soda out of his fingertips. Static shock, because he looks like Static Shock. Yeah, maybe that's who I'm thinking of. Or his powers resemble Static Shock. Static Shock's Marvel, though, isn't he? No. Who's DC? Yeah. Is he? Who's the... Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of... Yeah, uh... Static. Static is who I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Electro, I think. Probably. Is that... Um, that's who Jamie Foxx played, right? In, uh... Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one I was thinking of. Okay. The EDM <clears throat> supervillain? Yeah, when I, when I saw Black Lightning, I'm like... Is that static? I, I honestly thought it was static because they look very similar. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think at some point the well is going to run dry. They're going to reach too far back or too far off to the side uh, and, and dip too deeply into all of the obscure characters because obviously there is just an asshole amount of superheroes and supervillains, and at some point they're gonna they're gonna go too far and they're gonna start losing people's interest. Now, obviously, that's probably not gonna happen for us, um, those of us that are well, making this, or <clears throat> probably even the people that are listening to or watching um, the podcast, because we're all tried and true fans. But the average person. Pirates, stop shitting your pants. Oh my god. That's like the ninth time this dude has crapped his pants this podcast. Didn't we tell you before to take the duck out before you start the podcast? It was it was a rough night of a lot of beer drinking. I don't Oktoberfest, so it was something, clearly, because it's expelling itself I, out now. I feel bad for you. I'm surprised we can't see splatter paint on the wall behind you. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you're literally shitting your pants. The Hall of Justice is going to turn time. into the Hall of Just Shit. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of saturation, I mean, like, the market <laughs> already has so many comic book TV shows. Like, even for comic book fans like That's us, what I'm saying. there's not time to watch them all. Like, you've gotten to the point now where you have to start picking and choosing which ones are the good ones because it used to just be, yeah, sure, they, they're they doing well because comic book fans were clamoring for content that was, you know, up their alley and stuff that they would want to watch, and it didn't matter what it was. They're like, oh, shit, a show about a comic book character. I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch the shit out of it. I don't even know what it's about, which one it is, or I don't fucking care. It may not have been my favorite superhero, but it's a superhero show. I'm going to watch it. Now there's so many of them that people are going to start being more choosy, and they're like, well, now I get to pick which comic book character show I want to watch. And, you know, just pumping out a ton of them that are shit isn't going to do you any good because nobody's going to watch the worst ones because there's just not time in the fucking day. Yeah, I think that they're just going to... I honestly think they're going to beat this drum until it breaks. I think that 
you know, there's there's a breaking point for a lot of people. And I, on the other hand, perhaps it, it weeds out the shitty ones, and and they're forced to start making them as amazing as possible to to be the one that people actually watch. Yeah, I mean, I suppose that's possible as well. Although I feel like we already have like some clear front runners with Arrow, Flash. Um, uh, what's what's the Marvel um, Agents of Shield is has done well over an extended period of time. It's not my cup of tea, but then you got we'll all the Netflix stuff Legion. too. Soon we'll have Legion on TV, that X Men spinoff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I mean, there's just so much. It's it's I don't know. There's The Walking Dead. Now, yeah, The Walking Dead is obviously done really really well. I mean, but yeah, all, that's, still, that's different though. It's, it's a comic book based show, but it's not a superhero show, so it's yeah, yeah. It, I'll give you that. Dow <laughs> Dixon is a superhero. Don't you say that? <laughs> Cut your mouth. Now, did you guys? Get I would say for viewers that falls into a different category. They they I wouldn't would necessarily so for pit most them against each other. Did you guys see the video that uh, Ben Affleck released? Yes. Uh, of what appears to be Deathstroke on the set of were we saying I'll that the, were we saying that was on the the set of Batman the next Batman movie or were I, we saying that that was oh on the who set knows of... what it was a, it's 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 a teaser it was a like the first th- article I saw with it saying it was like a teaser just like te- it was like a test little thing. But if if his standalone movie, hopefully that's for Batman. It's not like a little Justice League thing. But um, if I mean Deathstroke would be a good. You never seen Deathstroke on the big screen. You see, you saw Manu Bennett's Deathstroke on Arrow, which was a little like weird and worded down, but not bad. But I want to see like a a real true to. You know what I want to see. I want to see John them, give himself a death stroke. <laughs> I want to see them take one of the like five thousand characters they have and pick one that they haven't already done on TV to put in a movie for once. Like Aquaman. Yeah. No, they did Aquaman on TV. Yeah, he was in Smallville. He was in Smallville. Yep. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not a good representation <laughs> of Aquaman at all. Yeah. But... I'm. I'm not. I'm not counting Smallville. I like Smallville. I don't know. I thought it was good. I mean, I don't think that they should steer away from their big characters at all. I, I mean, I, well, I, I mean, I, it, it's I better than. I thought that Steve. it looked awesome too. I thought that the the outfit looked, the costume looked super sick. It looked almost identical to um, the Arkham Origins the Arkham, costume, uh, the Arkham Knight video game. Was Death he in Stro- Arkham Knight or? Yeah. Oh yeah. He was in that it, in Origins. It looked almost identical to the one in Arkham Knight. Yeah. And it looks awesome. Uh, so I, I really who don't even, who even... What? What? Your mic just went out, yeah. so... We lost him. That's super cool. Uh, right, so Brian is no longer with us in voice, but he is in spirit. <laughs> Um, He's no longer with us. Yeah. R.I.P. Brian. R.I.P. Nineteen eighty something to two thousand sixteen. Um. Yeah. So. Gone but not forgotten. I don't. I. I mean, realistically, we that's... buried him with his poop. Oh God. <laughs> that game. I can't believe he found a card game named Poop. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. 100% I can. I can. <laughs> For sure. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about. He's probably been scouring the internet for that every day of yeah, the last like, yeah, 20 no, years. Sure. Yep. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was this limited collector's edition, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings Middle Earth Extended Edition Collection. It's the full. Speaking of polishing a turd, it's the full. Putting sprinkles on. How poop. how can you possibly say that that's a turd? Spaghetti. Well, no. How okay. Dare you? Yeah. How dare you? We hear that. No, no, no. I'm not saying Lord of the Rings is a turd. I'm saying there's no point. Like, okay, so polishing a turd doesn't increase its value any. Like, 
I'm just saying, like... Well, this is definitely more Lord than... Of, Lord of the Rings is definitely not shit. I love that trilogy. It's an amazing movie. But you can put it in as fancy a box as you want. It does not increase the value of it Yeah, tenfold. but this is more than... Sorry. This is more than just that. It's not just the movies. This is... It, it's it's all six <clears throat> films in a it's collector's... It's a lifestyle. <laughs> in a collector's package. It's 30 Blu-ray discs. So you can't say that it's you're just repackaging the original six films. It's repackaging. Clearly, there's a ton of extra footage. Yeah, um, but I mean, is it the the thing that I yeah, okay? Now I, you can watch 700 hours of Peter Jackson sitting in a chair in New Zealand. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, because when they had the extended editions, I mean, they added like 45 minutes to each one. I have those. It's like, if, are they adding more movie content, or is this all just like the set or building? Or is it all behind the scenes extra more special features? More than 34 features? hours of theatrical and extended bonus content. Right. Did it come with a sword? So the theatrical is probably what was in the extended. Two, two hours of, ex- this is just for the Hobbit trilogy. It's two oh. hours of extended scenes. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the extended Hobbit versions too. Which I have not seen those, okay. Right. Yeah, it's all um, the Lord as of the Rings as The Hobbit trilogy was already the fucking extended version. I don't know if I can <laughs> sit through another fucking seven yeah. hours of that shit. Yeah, the last movie was pretty rough. The first one, the first one wasn't bad. The second one wasn't bad. The third one was a little. Second one was, second was good. The third one was terrible. Fine. Terrible. I don't know. Terrible. The, the first one was the worst. When the dwarf rode the in one. on the on the fucking hog, like that was uh-huh. that was the highlight of my fucking day. Like, uh-huh. I was like, that's pretty fucking. It comes with a one hundred page sketchbook sketch style book with the replica of the the red book of west march which is that's the book bilbo did yes yeah so you get that with it as well uh and that's filled with original film sketches and 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 new artwork um let's see watercolor paintings in there conceptual artists or conceptual art i'm sorry um yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks as... it looks sick as fuck. I don't know that. I don't know. Is this something that any any of you would buy for eight hundred dollars? For eight hundred dollars? Fuck no. It's not no. eight hundred dollars. It's it's six hundred dollars. But no. oh Even well, so, then I'll take two. Well, I mean, there. No. In all reality, there is a big difference between six hundred and eight hundred. I mean, when they is. announced it, when they announced it, I thought the MSRP it's was about eight hundred. Is the difference? Yeah, I I would probably pay like with all that. No, I would just go buy the extended versions of each DVD. That would be my max. Bottom dollar. I mean, bottom dollar, Bob. I would probably pay. I would versions. probably pay three hundred dollars for that. I'm not. Three hundred dollars would be the reasonable price three, point yeah. for that. Three to three fifty, I would probably pay because it is like appealing, like the shelf appeal, like it looks really cool. It's in the faux leather book, like the books. So it's it's. You know, you open the books, and then there's all the Blu-rays inside each one of the books. Yeah, I bought the fancy version of the extended DVDs for Lord of the Rings trilogy, and now they sit on my cool? shelf because they're a DVD. Yeah. They, they were, were like twenty dollars a piece. I got twenty-five. Oh no, the ones that I got, I think it was like it was like eighty or ninety bucks for the for the set. The are those? Are you thing. talking about the ones that are in like the red, green, and blue? The red, books? green, and blue ones. Yeah. yeah, I got them for like twenty-five bucks. Yeah, I bought them when they first came out, and they were on DVD at the time because there was no Blu-ray yet. And I was like, "Oh, this is expensive, but it's worth it." And now, like, you know, three hundred seems like a more reasonable price oh, point so for the new Blu-rays. Get, but you also like, get the fuck. extended editions on DVD as well, and digital copies of all of the films. Yeah, so which is pretty standard all... nowadays. But the the shitty thing is, though, it's like. You can pay that, and then a year from now, they're going to come out with the $1,600 4K version, and yeah. you're going to be like, fuck, why did I spend $800 on Blu-ray? Uh-huh. I guess. Really? I don't know. There, I just noticed, as I was looking at that, that the Suicide Squad is having an Amazon-exclusive Blu-ray plus DVD plus Ultraviolet. That's the 4K. Yeah. That's the 4K. No, ultra no ultraviolet. It's a, it's a digital locker service for like cloud based. Um, oh. Digital. Oh, okay, so it has 
it's got the Blu-ray plus the DVD plus the Ultraviolet plus a Harley Quinn um, statue for $116. <laughs> it's just her ass. Speaking of Harley Quinn, um, it didn't. Doesn't Kevin Smith have a new movie out with his daughter Harley Quinn? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, been, it's, been, yeah, out yeah, it's, yeah, it's been out for a while. Has it has been out for a while. Has anybody seen it? Like no, I saw I a really review or something that looked really bad, but I actually thought it looked kind of interesting. I really want to see it. It's um, Yoga Hosers, is what it's called. Yeah, yeah that's it. Kevin Smith's daughter and Johnny Depp's daughter. Yeah, yeah. and they're like super, like cynical, like. Uh, it looks like Cashiers Clerks with are, Action. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much exactly what, what it looks like. Did you know that um, for... He, he did some commentary on one of the Batman v Superman, like, pre-videos, like the pre... You know how they did that TV show where it was, like, behind the scenes and all that bullshit and yeah, top, that top like, it up? When they announced Green Lantern Corps and stuff? I don't know. I think I remember. I don't know if that was in there. But anyway, he did some commentary work on that. And it was just as the filming was wrapping up for um, uh, Suicide Squad. And as a gift, they gave him Harley Quinn's bat Mm, from from the movie to give to his daughter. And he gave gave it to his daughter as a a gift. I I thought that was pretty cool. I've seen some Twitter posts or something from him with that. I think give yeah, it to his daughter. That's pretty, I, cool. that's pretty neat. So, yep, that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, don't forget to go and buy your six hundred dollars worth of Lord of the Rings goodness and all the Hobbit you can handle. All the Hobbit you can handle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stuff your Hobbit <laughs> hole full of Lord of the Rings. Oh. <laughs> For six hundred and ten dollars, like you can have everything incorporated in like Lord of the Rings and a deck of poop. <laughs> Fill your cart now on Amazon God. with poop and hobbits. Stuff that hobbit hole as full as you can get it <laughs> till the bowl is bloody. Uh, oh no, no! All right, that's it for this episode. I'm Fox Two. We got Pirate. Yep, that's me. I'm out. Keep the shit inside the <laughs> toilet or your butthole next time. And Topher. And apparently not the whole left and Brian. Yeah, apparently he just got tired and fucking dipped out. Oh. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, oh. I'm back and I have head earbuds. He in is back just to say, and we have the whole F and Brian. I always return. Next week. <laughs>